Welcome to Drugs Notes Beer Review. I'm Alexis. And I'm Steve. And today we are going to do a review of Shiner Sea Salt and Lime. It's a uh, seasonal beer that uh, we got in the uh, Texas Heat Wave six pack with a couple of other um, flavors. So this one is 4% uh, APVs. Um, Alcohol by volume. Yeah. For it's a the, summer beer. Yeah, it's a summer beer. Uh, beer. And it says, um, it's got a, yeah, it's brewed with, uh, sea salt and lime peel and with natural flavor added. So I want to give this one a go today. I think it's going to be really good. I wonder if it's going to be like the, um, the Michelob limes. That one's pretty good. It smells like beer salt. So it's got a. Nice, nice dark golden uh, color. Kind of like a foggy co co like color to yeah, it. Like you don't see clearly. Maybe it's the drink. No. And not much head on it. It was a white uh, foamy head that uh, kind of dissolved pretty, pretty fast. quick. Nice, pleasant smell. Smells like beer salt. Yeah, I smell the lime in it. Nice little sweet. Uh, seems like it's got a little sweet smell to it. Ah, uh, here we go. Yep, here we go. Try this one. I definitely get the salt flavor. Kind of tastes like um, like you get a beer and put a little bit too much salt in it. Um, I don't get much of the lime flavor. It gets better as it goes, though. I'm guilty of adding too much beer to my uh, too much beer, too much salt to my beer and having to force myself to drink it. And it definitely does taste like that, especially with my Michelobes. Sometimes I'll like overdo it with the salt. Yeah, this one the salt flavor is real strong. So if you like uh, salt in your beer. Definitely won't need to add any of this one. Uh, after a couple of drinks, I think the lime flavor starts coming through where you can mm -hmm. actually taste the lime, but this is actually not bad. This is a good beer to drink um, out when you're outside on a hot day, I think. Yeah, very uh, refreshing. Um, if you're after you get done mowing your yard, if you're outside cooking out, just hanging out. Um, Maybe not when you're, like, if you got too hot, I think this might upset your stomach just a little bit because of all the salt, but other than that... I could drink a couple of these. I don't think I'd want to sit and drink, you know, five, six, seven of these things, but I definitely could drink maybe one or two of them. Again, I think the salt flavor in it is really, um, really strong. Prominent. I mean, it's the salt it's flavor there. to me. Yeah, the salt flavor to me just takes over everything. There's not much other flavor that comes through other than the salt. Yeah. And if you're like me, I eat salt on everything. And I even think this might be a little too much yeah. salt. I yeah. am a salt lover. I would recommend it. I would recommend, you know, to try it. It wouldn't um, hurt you. Yeah, but I mean, I think it's a decent, you know, if you wanted to try something, yeah, that's to a, drink one. It's a def definite middle-of-the-road um, flavored shiner. Um, and, and with that, I, gi I give it a five. I mean, it's right in the middle of the road. I think the salt flavor not takes a point or two away from it. Um, but other than that, I mean, I give it a five. It's an average, not great, but not horrible, you know, shiner. I would give it a a five as well it's not my favorite not it's not the worst so definitely if you wait it kind of has a bad aftertaste so yeah, the salt taste is I mean, maybe the salt that's taste, why you have to keep drinking it yeah the salt taste does linger i mean it, it, it's there it's very prominent and it does linger kind of kicks um, you in the throat yeah i don't get the lime flavor i think mm -hmm. if the lime flavor was a little bit more prominent i'd give it a higher score uh, maybe if we cut a lime and put a lime in it would probably help balance out the salt cool. a little bit yeah. so that might be something to try if, if you think the salt flavor is too strong too. Maybe cut a lime and put a lime in it to kind of bring the lime flavor up a little bit. Um, yeah. But, again, I give it a five. I recommend trying it. I get a five. Try it just to try it. You know, it's not going to hurt you. Yeah, you know, other people may may love it. I mean, yeah. people I'll have to you, love it. So. Yeah. I want you to put down in the comments if you've tried this beer and what you thought of it. Tell us your recommendations for other beers. We're, we're happy to try anything. Like and subscribe. I'm Alexis. <laughs> and I'm Steve. And this is Dros Notes Brew Review. <laughs> Peace out. Let's get... <laughs>